Hello and welcome to another Two Minutes Tuesday expert interview. Let's get started. Well, I know you've been involved in validation for many, many, many years. And as you look forward, are there challenges, are there key areas that you, you feel we ought to do better? And, and what are those? Well, right now, the industry is kind of grappling with some new regulations. Uh, ASTM E2500 uh, is a guidance from an engineering organization um, that the industry is, is working to implement. And what it essentially does is it allows for the engineering function to design and processes, buildings, equipment, to, to go through the design process and have an integrated qualification effort so that while the equipment is being initially constructed and initially tested out, you're also compiling the dossier that you would use for filing for licensure. That's a new approach. Yeah. Most, in, most, most businesses in our industry don't actually do that kind of a combined. It's more of a two-step approach. Yeah. People talk about this magic uh, number of three runs in order to <laughs> demonstrate that a process is validated. Are you a believer of the <laughs> I know I'm not. No, I'm not. I, I subscribed to that philosophy for many years because that was kind of the in industry expectation. Yes. But today's expectation is that you can use science to justify the number of repetitions you need to demonstrate reproducibility. Yes. Um, and Typically, you use some analysis of risk yes. as a means to determine how, many, how, how much you need to do. Thank you for listening. And for more information on this and other bioprocessing topics, including expert interviews, please go to our Two Minutes Tuesday archive. Have a great day.